guys, I'm going to make a really quick and easy chicken tikka masala. It's a batch cook. It's going to do two days for me at work. Literally, you can see here I've got the sauce, the rice, two chicken breasts and an onion. I'm going to get this all chopped up and fried up. Let's get cooking. Okay, I've got my pan going already. And I'm just going to spritz it with some of my fry light with garlic, just because, you know, it's super tasty. I'm going to lift it off the heat and turn the heat down because it is quite hot. There you go. Oh, I smell of garlic already. Garlic is so good. I absolutely love garlic. So I'm just going to let that steam off a little bit. I'm turn my fan on. Okay, so I'm just going to add in the onions. Get them going. And then add in the chicken. Now, just while I put that chicken in the top there, on top of the onion, I always like to give it an extra spray with the fry light just to coat the chicken a wee bit. I'm just going to sit and let that cook until it's all brown and lovely. Okay, and what I've done is, because I'm not cooking the rice now, I'm just splitting it between two bowls. I've measured it out into a zero bowl. So I will just split that and put half of each into my containers so I know I'm getting exactly the right amount for each container. And that's what the chicken is doing. I should do the same with the chicken tikka once it's all cooked. I will measure it into that bowl, split it in half, and then I know exactly how much weight will be per portion. Okay, that's two rices. Roughly the same in each. I think there's like a couple of grams difference, but okay. Next step, I'm just going to add in the sauce. I turn the heat right down as well. Sorry, I turn that off so you can hear me. Turn the heat down right as well. Because I don't want to burn it. The smell on this is really good. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Right, just mix that in and then I'll let that cook through. Okay then guys, that's it all cooked up. I am going to weigh it out into the same bowl. That I used to weigh the rice, then I will half it and put it into the rice bowls. And that was nearly my camera in the chicken tikka. <gasps> okay, that is it all portioned out for two more meals. So I'm going to leave that to cool there. Then, once that's nice and cold, I'm going to pop that in the fridge and that's my next two meals for work sorted. Just remember guys, if you like the video, to give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you for joining me in Cat's Kitchen once again. And just remember, if you can live it, love it, dream it, then you'll achieve it. I'll catch you next time guys. Bye for now.